as their guys will do battle with the Philadelphia Eagles. This will be taken to the back of the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. First carry for Josh Adams. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive. 12 Come yards. On Come on now. Let's go. That's a very nice game there. A confidence building run. Love the execution up front. And the way he pressed the hole, absolutely perfect. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Now that play is blown up. Losing yardage back at the 35. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Wentz to throw on second down. And a hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. You get a tight end like this, and you know he's used to dishing out punishment, but here, he's one that has to absorb the contact, and as a result, unable to hold on to the football. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. From the gun, it's Wins. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 18 yards there and a first down. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. And this is Ertz with it, right side. And he's taken down inside the 30. 18 yards on each of the last two plays, and they're picking up big chunks now. Nice movement there by Carson Wentz outside of the pocket, completes another pass. Help me out here, partner. He's not sneaky athletic. <laughs> he is athletic. How many times do I have to say yeah, it? You've been making that declaration for a while, and it's 6-5. He ran a 40 of force. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Richard Rodgers, 28 yards. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. Elliott good with a PAT, and that makes the score 7-0. Elliott now to kick this one away. Fielded about a yard deep. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. So Prescott and the Cowboys now with a first and 10 at their own 28-yard line. Now Prescott. Oh, he's going to take a shot right away. And that's caught inside the 30. And finally, he is out of bounds, but not before taking it down near the 15. A big play here for the Cowboys. 56 yards. They go play action here on first down. And it pops free. The collision there jarred the ball loose and brings up second down. I know you felt like saying touchdown there, didn't you, partner? That looked like a sure six points, but the contact jarred it free. Got his hands on it, could not hold on through the end of the play. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. 
Switch! Switch and X! To throw is Prescott. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. It's a good gain of 11. Sets him up first and goal. Now Elliott. Pretty move. And not a whole lot there. He does get a couple, taking it from the five down to the three. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. In the C, offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive where they'd be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game. They'll try to run it in with Elliott. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play there, and they're going to need to come up with something better here on third and goal. So third and goal, the defense in the dime. Can still bring pressure. Out of the gun, here's Prescott. Polluting the pressure right. And that one's gonna be over everybody in the back of the end zone, it's incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? The zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. No movement from the field goal unit. They've got four full yards to go here on fourth and goal to hit Pater, but they're going to go for it. Throwing. Prescott escaping the pressure right. This is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. Jeff Swain from four yards out. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. Extra point attempt to come here. Extra point right down the middle, and we are tied at seven. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. The Eagles offense back out onto the field, and they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. The drive starts with a handoff to Adams. Look at the spin. Ballots. And he's going to be brought down on what will be the final play of this first quarter. Back live with Charles. And they've got it here with a first down. One play has him up past the 40 already and another first and 10. Right back to him on first down. And he'll push this forward only to about the 42-yard line. Credit him with a one-yard gain there to make it second and nine. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you, attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting him in the first half. And down he goes. They bring down Wentz on the sack. Jamarcus Lawrence. He's the one that got to him. He takes him down for a loss of nine. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Wentz and company with some work to do after the sack. He'll buy some time right. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. That one goes for 24 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now it's the all-purpose back. This is Darren Sproles. And he's going to take it down to about the 35 here. It's a seven-yard carry to set them up with a second and three. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing, 
often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. And he'll be taken down at the 34. Tackle there by Leighton Vander Esch. But well, we just saw a great example of what we talked about with his coach prior to the game. He's definitely one of the better linebackers at reading a play and flowing to make the stop before it turns into something big. Wentz looking to throw on third and two. And he connects with Ertz. And they'll get this one to about the 20-yard line. And Eagle first down, Wentz to Ertz. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play, but we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one, wound up hitting him for a first down. Two minutes to play in a tightly contested first half. We're back to Arlington right after this timeout. They'll run on first down. Adams, and he's going to fight his way forward here for a modest gain. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator? I'm like... On second down, here's Wins. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Taco Charlton in there to get him for a loss of five. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston company with some work to do after the sack. it inside the 10 to the 9. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Looked like the defense put pretty good pressure on him, but he's able to flush out to his right to try and evade people. On the run, had to get on his horse. Still accurately throws a nice pass for a first down. Here's Wentz to throw. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Taco Charlton in there to get him his second sack now of the afternoon. Well, that was point-counterpoint, wasn't it? They decided to throw for it on first and goal. Instead, the defense counters with pressure, and the defense wins, getting a big sack. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Working from the gun, Wentz. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Brown, and he'll be brought down at his own 10-yard line. Well, they thought they were going to break the tie. The defense had other plans. They were already in field goal range, but boom, an interception. I don't know if this was a case of being a little bit too greedy with the opportunity to put points on the board, but give credit to the guys on the defensive side. Hung in there, battled, and made a key play. Following the interception, here's Prescott. On the crossing route, he hits his man, Amari Cooper. And he gets this one just shy of the 35 to the 34. And now before this first down play, we're going to get a timeout here. As they'll stop it with 14 seconds to go in this first half. From the 34 now, here's first and 10. 46, 46. Everybody, 48. Deep right side. He couldn't quite hold it. Got hit. Ball pops out. Incomplete. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. 46. On second down, Prescott again. And this is incomplete with a clock showing just three seconds left. 
So now third and ten. They had the big play to start the drive, but two incompletions since. Gun, gun, gun. Final play of the half. Prescott looking deep in the direction of Cooper. Into a double team and it's intercepted. Picked up by Jalen Mills. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So a touchdown apiece. That's what we have to show at halftime as they head to the locker room. 7-7 seven, seven our score. As we are off to Orlando now to check in with Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports halftime report. Coach, this is fielded a couple yards deep. And he'll wind up about four yards shy of where he would have been if he had taken a knee as they'll start at the 21-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. They have a chance to break our tie here as we get a look at the first drive of quarter three. And it's such a tone setter, isn't it? Because both sides trying to seize momentum to begin the half. What do they have dialed up that'll give them an advantage to move the ball downfield? Let's find out what they have dialed up. He's going to take another shot here. And that's caught inside the 35. Touchdown, Cowboys! Jameis Olawale, 79 yards. And the Cowboys are in for six. And he wasn't blocking or running it there. They tossed it to him. And you remember the good old days when the 49ers were riding roughshod in the league? They used their fullback in pass plays all the time. Roger Craig, Tom Rathman, those guys were terrific at running these types of plays. The extra point splits the uprights, and that makes the score 14 to 7. Now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They trail offense, first time to touch the ball in quarter three, and we'll see what they can do. And I can't wait to see what they have planned because some teams script. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Tyron. Crawford in there to drop him, and it'll be a loss of about eight. Brandon, if I'm an offensive coordinator and I see an all-out rush like that, I file it away because I'm going to use their aggressiveness against them as this game goes on. I'm going to hit them with a screen soon. The reception made by Alshon Jeffrey, and they're able to get this one across the 35. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. Now a play fake here on first down. Forced out to his left. Jeffrey with a catch left side. And he'll have it past midfield almost to the 40 before being taken down. 23 yards on the play. On first down, Wentz. He's got Dallas Goddard, his tight end over the middle. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 17 more yards on that one as they keep the drive rolling. Wentz now after the pick on the last drive. Three for three to start this drive. It's first and ten. Again, they'll throw with Wentz. Caught right side, Tate. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 12 more yards there and another first down. Well, this is how you shake the thoughts of that interception on the last drive. You come out and start this one for the four. And watching him throw it around with that type of confidence reminds me of a guy I played with way back when who told me, I don't care if I throw 10 interceptions in a row, I'm going to stay confident keep flinging it. I just figured there's something wrong with the football. This will be caught at about the six. And he's able to get it down to the two-yard line. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And that's one of his advantages of a passer is not with his height, setting back there in the pocket, firing it over the middle. He can really see everything clearly. It is, and I know that other quarterbacks get it done different. What he does is he takes away having to make those slide steps in the pocket. 
to find angles to throw the ball through. He just throws right over the top of it because he can see everything, and sometimes that saves time and gets the ball to a receiver quicker. Let's go, let's go, let's go. They'll go to Adams, try to pound it in. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. Josh Adams taking it in from two yards out. And the Eagles are within an extra point of tying this thing up. Elliott on for the extra point. A little surprising they wouldn't go for two, but this is up and good, and we are tied at 14. Nothing separating these two teams on the scoreboard as the kick's away here. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice job there as he gets this one up just shy of the 35-yard line at the 34. And now here come the Cowboys. And these two teams have traded touchdowns so far with their first possessions here in the third quarter, so we're right back to where we started at intermission. Yeah, how about that? Tied at the half, tied after the first two drives of the third quarter, one for each. That tells me that someone's defense has got to step up and make a big play and try and change the momentum of this game. First play of the drive going for 14 and also going for a first down. I think the last two plays really illustrate how difficult it is to game plan against this guy because you know he can throw the football, but how about his use of legs as well, what we call those broken plays? You can't account for them. Yeah, those plays, those two that you just mentioned, a microcosm. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. And, Brandon, this is a real nice job defensively of getting inside a quarterback's head and figuring out Okay, where is he going with the football? Because you can make an educated guess defensively, not all the time, but sometimes. And when you're right, you've got a decent chance of coming away with the football. Winston, the Eagles now with a first and 10 from back at their own 10-yard line. They'll begin here with Adams. And he's going to lose yardage here back at the 8. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the lead and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. On play action, wins. Hurts has it left side, and he'll be brought down, it looks like, right at the 15. The reception good for seven. It's third down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to spring the tight end free downfield for the completion. Let's go, let's go, the Eagles go. on third down. No problems to this point. A perfect five for five. This is third and four. Shotgun now for Wentz. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. Demarcus Lawrence in there to pick up his second sack now of the afternoon. That's the second sack of the game. The best defensive ends, they do their homework as much as offensive guys do. They know how to beat the offensive lineman across from them, what moves they need to do to set them up. This guy's been pretty good at it all game long. Back now in Arlington. All even as we get ready to start the fourth. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Check four, check four. Give me 46. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. On any pass that's in the middle of the field, anyone who's going after the football is going to be conscious that it's probably going to be contested, and often physically. Sometimes that leads to drops.
Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. A second down throw for Prescott. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Sidney Jones. And he's going to get this one to the 23-yard line. Cooper was the target there. So how about that for a momentum switch? We're in the fourth quarter, and it's a tie. The lead right out the window, and everything is flipped in the other direction. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 23. Here's a handoff to Sproles to start the drive. Takes this to the 27, give him four yards. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. On second down, Adams. And he'll get about three here as he's out to the 30. Tough day, tough sledding right there, and it's been that way the entire game. Not a whole lot of room to ramble for him. Yeah, you're right. It's been that way all afternoon. Didn't get a whole lot better there. As big of a play as we've had in this one so far. This is third and three. Now wins. And he couldn't hang on to it through the contact. Incomplete. You hear the calls for a penalty, but I just don't think so. I think in this situation, the defender was making sure his guy couldn't hold on to the football. So I don't see anything to warrant to the flag. No, I'm with you. There was contact, but I'm happy they kept that flag in the back pocket. The Eagles indeed snap it. Wentz rolling to his right. And it's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. That's a fourth down pickup of 10 yards and an opportunity certainly missed on the defensive side. didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. I know when I was a kid, I always got real excited when I saw those lateral-type runs, but the best backs that made it happen, they put a foot in the ground and just go. That didn't happen there. That play got swallowed up. Wins to throw on second down. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they've got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. A good pick up there of 20 yards. From their own 40 to the other 40. The gain of 20 leads to first and 10. Time for a break. We'll come back and see how it all shakes out after this. A couple of first downs have him to the 40 now on first and 10. They'll run on first down. Adams. And down inside the 35, he goes to the 32-yard line. Eight yards on the pickup, and now they'll have some options on second and short. scrimmage and he goes down right there he got maybe a half yard at most but officially they'll be left with a third and two and now a timeout called by the Cowboys defense as they'll talk it over here before what will be an important third down Toss. This is Adams. And he gets the first down here as he's taken down at the 24. It goes as a gain of eight and it moves the chains. But they picked up a little bit of yardage there. And now, in this situation, should be in no hurry to run a play really fast. Let the clock wind down. Running game working, they'll stick with it on first down. And he'll keep it moving down to the 15-yard line. 
Give him nine on the carry that time, and they're set up with a second and one. Now, what's the thinking here? Because a touchdown would be nice, but you've ensured yourself a chance at three in the lead, so how worried are you about the six? You're not very worried about it if you're confident in your kicker. And if you got a kicker who can put it through the post, you feel really good about trying to bleed that clock down. In an ideal scenario, your kicker puts it through the post as the clock hits zeros. A game-winning field goal would be a chip shot from here. Let's see how they play it on first and goal. Here's Adams. And able to push his way forward here for a good little gain. Five yards, a good run there, and now second and goal. Come on now. Come on now. Go. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in the game. He'll get it up the middle. And that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts. On third down, that's Adams. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. And now with six seconds remaining, they're going to burn their final timeout. And that carry probably not so much for yardage just to get the spot that you want to kick the field goal. And any yardage a game there is really kind of gravy. And this just becomes what my old coach used to say. Get into position to be in position. And that's what they want, the right spot for their kicker to line up the field goal. And he tugged this one badly, badly. It's no good, wide left. And a costly one there as this game remains tied here in the fourth. Prescott to throw. He'll let it fly for Austin. It's caught inside the 25. And he's in. Are you kidding me? How do you get that up? One of the most improbable ways to finish a game. And they do win. 